Alright guys, welcome back to Son of Scotland 90, bringing you some FIFA 15 Celtic career mode. In our first match of today's episode, we're up against Hamilton at home. We're ninth in the league, guys, so there's really no ifs or buts. This is a must-win game. No more bullshit, no more nonsense. We're going to have to start smashing teams like Hamilton. No reason why we shouldn't be there. You see the lineup located at Wacastle. Mackay Stevens and Forrest, a good attacking for you, Hansen and Brown in the centre midfield and the Hamilton team. Not a lot to say about it really, there's no stars in this lineup. Antonio Curea up front, I suppose he could uh, offer a decent threat like, but I'm not really expecting him to. And now, the match is underway, here's Gary Mackay Stevens. Mackay Stevens now come on, do something. Great bit of pace there. And Run, it's Wacastle out wide, Wacastle cuts inside, Wacastle back out, he's managed to get the ball, still Wacastle, he's still got it, it's Wacastle, and he's, and that's it in the first, holy shit man, one shot in the first half guys, utter disgraceful man, utter dog shit, come on we need to make, you need, we need more than subs, yeah, here comes Derek Brichter on for Gary McKay Stevens, we need to do something, this is so uncalled for, it's Hamilton now, with a chance, and look at that, it's easy for them, and a good block there, in the end by Johansson, but Hamilton there could have the 1-0 lead, come on, corner, we managed to head that one away to Locadia, now it's Locadia, can he break, come on you son, rape some centre back city, it's Jurgen Locadia, what can he do, still Locadia, Locadia, oh nice Locadia, oh and he's, his shot's been saved, but he's managed to win a corner. It was good stuff there from the young Dutchman. Ball into the box. Scott Brown and his header there. It's just pathetic, really. No power in that, and it goes straight into the hands of the keeper for a comfortable save. Out wide now. It's Wacastle. Wacastle coming in central here. Lost the ball over to Griffiths. And Jesus Christ, man. Griffiths, what were you doing? Power puffed her shot. That was looking straight into the hands of the keeper. As if he was playing with his like, five-year-old daughter or something at the local park, man. Shot it straight to his hands. Now Derek Barrector there. Derek Barrector got what? Yes, man. It's a goal. I don't know how it went in, but somehow it sneaked over the line. I think the defenders just look at that. Boom. He's had enough, guys. He doesn't. He doesn't want to be here no more. He can't take it. He's just punted it into his own net. He's a goodie now. Cuts it wide. He crossed a dangerous cross in, but it's away. Only as far as Matthews can. Matthews do something. Matthews passes it central to Brown. Brown. Brown making a run into the box. Brown not being stopped. Brown hits the side net and sadly. Hamilton now. Chance late on. Can they equalise again? No, please not, man. It's Hamilton there. Crossed in, but Gordon's going to come out for that one. No, Gordon's not got it, and Gordon has got it. Craig Gordon there. Scaring us a wee bit. He came out, then he left it. He went back in. He managed to get the save. Good enough. Now it's Locadia. Once again, making a good run forward here. Plays it back to Lee Griffiths. He plays it out wide to Derek Barrector, who's all alone. Derek Barrector and his shot there. Saved by the keeper, then forced out for a corner. But that's the end of the match with one. We managed to beat Hamilton. Not a great game, but it's three points. And that's all that matters. Now we move into the top six. They see five points behind the League Leaders Rangers. It wasn't the best to start from us, guys, but I do believe now we can push on and hopefully challenge Rangers at the top. Now you can see four of the top, three of the top four goal scorers are our Rangers players, so it says it all. They've had a good high scoring season so far. Next up, got St Mirren. We're away from home. No reason why we can't make it back to back wins here. And there's the lineup for St Mirren. Former heart keeper, Kello in nets. Former Rangers striker, Stevie Thompson up front. Yeah, Teal, former Scottish international players. Greg Wilde there, former Rangers player as well, so you know St Mirren have got a, they've got a decent team, there's decent players in there, there you can see our lineup. Craig Gordon once again in nets, Van Dyke, Denier coming in there, centre back position, and now Stevie Thompson, Stevie Thompson to Greg Wilde, Greg Wilde still with the ball and Greg Wilde has slotted that one past Craig Gordon and Greg Wilde has put St Mirren into the lead and the Saints fans are going wild, no pun intended, Greg Wilde, the wee hun, the former hun has scored and now we're 1-0 down, it's Mackay Steams, he needs to make up for that, he needs to do something and his shot there, how lucky can you get, it's took a shot, it's took about 20 million deflections and it's went underneath the keeper and into the back of the net. I think the last touch has came off, Stevie Thompson, so two Rangers, two former Rangers players scoring the day, one for us once again, so not too bad, now it's McLean, McLean there, what a play, he's played in Thompson, and Thompson there, can't find the back of the net, he really should have, from that far out, that has to go down, as a bad miss, McLean again, 
McLean, this guy is causing problems, we just can't seem to get the ball off him, he's cutting through our defence, hot knife, butter, Thompson to Osborne, and Osborne has scored, the score is now St Mirren 2, Celtic 1, and it's shit, it's not looking good guys, St Mirren there, take the lead, and look at that, Craig Gordon, you useless sack of shite, I've been praising you lately, but you just let that one go underneath your legs, that's disgraceful, out wide to Matthews, come on Matthews, do something, yes, Matthews brought down, apparently has to be, referee points to the spot, thank Christ, come on, there is a god, yellow card, I would have preferred a red, but take what you can get, Greg Weld, thanks for giving away the penalty son, we owe you big time, now it's Chris Commons, Commons there, he goes top left, keeper goes bottom right, and that is two each, We've levelled up the score in here in the first half still, so plenty of time for us to go on and win this game. We'll okay there now. Switches the flanks to Matthews, lobs it over to Mackay Stevens. Can Gary Mackay Stevens get another goal here? He's cutting. Mackay Stevens to Armstrong and his header there just past the keeper. And it's been an entertaining game so far. The score 2 2, not a lot of chances, but both teams have been very clinical in front of Nets. Now it's Locadia. Locadia still. It's still Jurgen Locadia. And he's just been wiped clean out by Greg Wilde. And that's going to be a second yellow, surely. The referee is coming over. He gives him the yellow. Bye bye, son. St. Mirren down to 10 men now. And surely we've got a great chance to go on and secure all three points here with stealth. 35 minutes remaining, Greg Wilde, terrible challenge late. You, you, you might argue that's racism there because that's a woeful challenge there. No coincidence that Locadia is black. Maybe that's why he done it. Who knows, man. And anyway, there he goes, his free kick. And he's a good his free kick there. Comfortably saved by the keeper, sadly. And now it's Mackay Stevens. Miss Stevens now. He's cut in, he's turned round. He plays out wide to Matthews. Matthews there tries to beat the defender. Guy Teal can't get near him. Jurgen Locadia's header. And what a goal that is, Jurgen Locadia with the header from about about well, about 14, 15, 16 yards out and he's done that header. He's looped it over Marion Kello. And look at that man. What that is amazing header there. He's just bloody placed it right into this guy is a god I may have cost 9 million but it's the best 9 million pound I've ever spent and I'd pay every single penny of it if it happened again like Kai Stevens here he's coming down he's, he's in the box he's made a great run Mackay Stevens still got the ball Mackay Stevens he went for the unbelievable unthinkable he's went for some sort of fucking Rabona there after a great bit of skill and he should have just buried it to put the game beyond doubt but for some reason he wanted to show off and there's St Mirren there showing that they're not out of this yet St Mirren trying to get back on level terms Gary Mackay Stevens man you should have buried that and put us out of reach but no you didn't but we've got a chance here now look at what Castle the pace here but he's had the ball taken off him now it's a centre back the young centre back Denier near can he score he does score 4-2 and that puts the game beyond doubt it's St Mirren 2, Celtic 4, and all three points are going home to Celtic Park, you can believe that, Roman Reigns, and now it's the ball, it's Stokes, he's been here a game with the ball, running forward, this time he plays it central to Anthony Stokes, look at Celtic, we've got loads of men on the overlap, it's Wacaso, he's a goodie! And he blasts that one right into the top hand corner. Kello, no chance. And that puts the game well beyond St Mirren's reach. 5 2. What an entertaining game. Scoreline perhaps a bit harsh on St Mirren. But it was a great win by us nonetheless. And there you can see, guys, Rangers have drew 0 0 against Partick So that means we have closed the gap. The gap now down to three points. And there you can see we're third in the league now. Joint with three other teams on 10 points. Please, guys, if you like this episode, like, subscribe, comment below how you think. We've got St. Johnson in the next. Hopefully we can get a good runner wins going. But until next time, guys, peace out.